It was maybe five years ago I taught myself how to contour. Do an outline. Your girl was not really into makeup, but now you just use a very small amount. Hi guys, it's Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I talk about all things lifestyle, fashion, beauty, home wellness, all the things that I like. Today we're talking about how to curate your makeup collection so that you can learn how to do a really quick everyday makeup look in less than five minutes. Five minutes or less. This video is not at all intended to teach you how to do a real makeup beat. It's really just to teach you how to curate your makeup collection so that if you only have five minutes to do your makeup, you'll be able to have your core products to accomplish that in less than five minutes. So just a disclaimer, I am not by any means a makeup professional. I am not claiming to be one. But over the years, if you're into makeup and beauty, you know, we play around with makeup. We play around with products as much as we can. So I have figured out the things that I like to use that work for me to accomplish a quick five minute makeup look that still makes an impact. So this is gonna be a talking video. So as I'm doing my makeup, I'm also going to talk through my philosophy and how I pretty much developed and curated my products for myself. The first thing is figuring out what part of your face you really want to enhance. So whenever I'm doing a five minute makeup look, I need to make sure I'm doing the following. My brows, a liner on my eyelids, mascara, contour, blush, concealer, wherever I feel like I need concealer, and my lips. And I have successfully done all of that in five minutes. I don't wear foundation every day. I only put foundation on if I'm going out for a dinner or for an event, but for every day where I personally only use concealer. So that's number one, figuring out what parts of your face you want to enhance. So let's get started. Now, the second most important thing is exploring products. So I'm not saying to go out there and start buying tons and tons of product, but over time you need to try different things so that you can figure out what product is actually good quality and what will work best for you. And this is not saying that you need to go and buy a $30 eyebrow pencil or it, the price doesn't matter. You know, there's really good drugstore, there's really great Sephora brands, Ulta brands, and also department store brands, depending on your budget, what you're willing to spend money on, but you don't have to break the bank on this. You can find, I have a mix of drugstore, department, Sephora brands. I have a mix of different products. So price point doesn't matter, but I have tried out different things. I've tried out brow pencils from the drugstore. This brow pencil, I always get this from the drugstore, but I also have a brow pencil that I would get from Sephora as well. So once again, price point doesn't matter, but I have explored different products to figure out I only need one to always work for me. This brow pencil is from Revlon Colorstay. So I'm just gonna brush my brows up. This video is not gonna be five minutes because I am talking and showing you guys how I do my makeup, but yeah, I'm gonna fill in my brows now. When I do my brows, I, in order for me to quickly get it done, I just do an outline of the top and the bottom. And then I go in and I fill it in. And then I just brush it up. And I really don't do much. Brush it up. And I, I like just making it look as natural as possible. So now my brows are done. That was quick. We're gonna go in now with some concealer. I go under my eyes with the concealer and then any other spots that I have on my face. And this concealer is from, I've used this L'Oreal one for many, many years. And like I said, I, I have one from Ilya that I used to use. So I still, when I run out, I explore other brands so that if I ever run out of one, I can always run and get another one. It's good to have an idea of different brands and your colors in different brands in the event that if you ever need to run and get one over the other. So that's why it's good to explore. But I don't have like 10 concealers because I don't need 10 concealers, if you get my point. So the point of having a quick five minute makeup look is to, like I said, only have your core products that will always work for you. 
So now my concealer is on, and when I'm on, when I'm rushing, I'm, I'll just use my fingers because I feel like it blends perfectly. And then I just do on my for I just do my forehead so it has some highlight as well. And that's my concealer. Okay. So my base is all done. I'm gonna go in and do a very light contour like that. I don't do anything too much. Just blend that in. This one is from Fenty in the color Truffle. You just use a very small amount and it makes a huge impact. Contour is done. And now we're gonna do our eyes. I just line my eyelids. I don't love a cat wing. I'm not really great at using the wet liner. Um, so I'm using my pencil. This one is from Valentino Beauty. I just like doing a thin line on the top of the eyelid. Just very close to the lash line. And now I'm gonna do the same on this side. Fun fact about me, I didn't I didn't get my first foundation until I was 22. No, I was I didn't try out my very first foundation until I was 20 years old in college. The only makeup I played around with was like wet and wild and like my mom allowed me when I was in high school to play around with lip liner and lip gloss and that was it. But I would still buy eyeliners and stuff and play in it at home, but I never went anywhere in high school. So I never really wore makeup. That was the only makeup that I really explored when I was a teenager, was really just lip gloss and lip liner. And then in college, I started buying like eyeshadows and stuff. So when we went out at night, I had makeup, but I never wore foundation, I never wore concealer. I think back to my college days and think that I used to, I probably looked so young, like going out with like no makeup on. Um, but yeah, and I really only got into makeup when I turned 20 and then I started purchasing other things and exploring. I didn't really get into contouring until, it was maybe five years ago I taught myself how to contour. But before then, your girl was not really into makeup. But now, I would say that I'm a makeup girl now. Um, all right, so contour is done. Now we're gonna just go in with a powder. I use this one from Laura Mercier. I'm just gonna go in with this powder to avoid any because I got oily skin, so I tend to get shiny in my T-zone. So this powder helps a lot to avoid that. Okay, so that's done. And now we're gonna do blush. So blushes, I've never really explored blushes a lot, but I, this year I need, to, I need to invest in another one. This one is from a brand called Yensa. So I'm just gonna tap this in and this is good for everyday wear because it's not it's not too it's not too potent so i just put that on my cheeks so it gives you like a little rosy look okay so that's done I'm gonna go with mascara. I use this one from Estee Lauder. Let's get back to the tips. So my third tip, because we're almost done, is to just practice your look. If you're not really good with makeup, no one, and my, my mom never really, my mom had makeup, but she was not a makeup girl showing me techniques and stuff. I learned everything from YouTube and Instagram and TikTok now. So I think you should just always practice and practice even when you're at home and you're getting, just get up and do your makeup, take cute pics of yourself, but that's the only way that you're going to be able to perfect learning how to do a quick makeup look is by practicing. I'm telling you, once you figure out, and if you have more time, and this, this is a look that you can do even if you don't like wearing foundation, maybe this everyday look is a look that you'll wear all the time across the board, but this is good enough for every day for me because it's not heavy at all. I took too long with the mascara. All right, um, so now we're doing our lips. 
I'm gonna go in with this pencil from Urban Decay. If I don't have lip liner, I feel like my look isn't complete. Cause I'll just do lip liner and lip gloss sometimes. All right. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my lipstick. So I used this lipstick from Revlon just to make my look a little bit more pigmented. That's how I do my look. Okay. So that's my lip. And then, so I will go and do a matte lip like this and call it a day. But I'm gonna do a little bit of lip gloss from Fenty. Just a little bit. And, and yeah guys, that's the look. That is my quick five minute makeup look. Okay, so let's recap. So my main tips are making sure you know what parts of your face it is that you want to enhance. For me, like I said, my brows and my lips, if that's all I get done, I can run out the door. But making sure that you know what parts of your face you want to enhance, that's number one. Because then once you know what parts of your face you want to enhance, that's going to then help you find the core products that you need to curate as a part of your everyday makeup capsule collection, if that's what you want to call it. Which leads to my second tip, which is curate a collection of makeup products that are going to allow you to create that five minute makeup look that you want. So I used nine products. So these nine products is all that I would really need if I ever wanted to do a quick makeup look that is going to make an impact. And then number three, you need to practice doing your makeup. So buy different products, don't break the bank, but play around, wake up in the morning, do your makeup, take pictures, see what looks you like, see what looks you don't like. The more you play around in your makeup, the better it is that you're going to be able to create a look very quickly and a look that actually looks really cute. But yeah guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys really found this helpful. I hope that if you're trying to figure out how to create a makeup look, you know, it's the new year, we're trying to do different things. I hope this video inspires you and motivates you to just play around in your makeup because the more you practice doing your makeup, the quicker it is that you'll be able to create your signature everyday makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.